Hi, this is James. I'll take you through what collections in Favreau are and how they are used. Collections contain boards, which in themselves contain the cards. As collections are typically seen as either a whole department within a company or a project, it makes sense for boards in certain collections to be able to be moved or added to other collections so different teams can work on things. Collections are a step above boards in the Favreau hierarchy because they are the highest level of creating organization between the various departments or projects. So let's just take a step back and look at the structure of things from the ground up. Here on my own personal work board, I have my different tasks or responsibilities that I personally need to work on. And this is my own collection, my own private collection that no one else can access that allows me to focus on my own tasks. And then on the left side is the panel containing a list of the collections that you're a member of, which creates, once again, separation and organization in the Favreau organization. So this is my own personal collection. Then above that we have home listing, which is everything to do with real estate, expense tracking, event management, and even an art external team, which is where a game development company or team would work on different art assets relating to the project itself. And here different teams could even work on different boards within this collection. So to summarize, if you set out with a true meaning behind your collections, whether they represent departments, teams or projects, I think you'll find success. Good luck with Favreau.